Here's how we do it. I'm going to do a little bit of neurobiology here. So the first thing is to decide what neurons you're going to decode, which ones you're going to interact with. We actually jump from the brain into specifically into motor cortex, and we think about the brain and, and motor cortex as giving us, here's this picture of a homunculus, a plan of how the brain connects into the body. What you'll notice there is that your hands and your mouth sort of dominate the output of your brain. Those are the most densely innervated parts of your body. Your hand is actually the most densely innervated part of your body. And that's where we collect our neural signals. This is where your skill relies, uh, uh, resides, and this is where your adaptation, your online, real-time, fast adaptation is expressed. And we do that by decoding the activity of individual neurons as they innervate your hands. Using an array of sensors and a technology called surface electromyography, or surface EMG, we're able to actually take a complex signal and deconvolve it. In this case, I'm going to talk about something called myocontrol, and we'll come to that again towards the end. And under myocontrol, we're actually just trying to understand what each of the 14 muscles in the arm are doing. When you're moving, when you're doing natural things that you do today, including the kind of unnatural things you do when, say, you're typing or you're moving a mouse or a joystick. And in this scenario, we actually just deconvolve the signal out into individual channels that map out to muscles. And once we have an online map of what your muscles are doing, we're effectively aware of everything you're doing with the machine today. If we can decode this accurately, then there's no reason for you to have a keyboard or to have a mouse, because I have the information from the nervous system itself that would have otherwise been expressed through those devices. It's a little abstract, but I'll show it to you in some videos in a moment. But from here, we do something that's much more exotic. From myocontrol, myo meaning muscle, we jump into neurocontrol. And this is pretty exciting. And uh, one of the first places in the world you'll ever see this. The brain has upper motor neurons up in cortex, and those synapse down onto lower motor neurons that exist in your spinal cord. Those, in turn, send long axons, the largest cells in your entire body, long axons down and contact muscle. And they release neurotransmitter onto the muscle, and they turn individual fibers in the muscle on and off. And what you'll notice here are three clusters of fibers, the dark blue ones, the pinkish ones, and the red ones. Those are called a motor unit, and a motor unit has a one-to-one -one correspondence with a motor neuron, such that when a motor neuron fires in the spinal cord, that final output signal of your brain, you get a direct response, what's called an action potential, in muscle. And if we can dig inside of that EMG signal, we can decode the actual neural signal and decode these action potentials. With action potentials, we have the zeros and ones of the nervous system. There is no information more reduced than that. And from there, we're off to the races.